Welcome back, guys, to the Art of Ramp. Bet you didn't think I was underneath there, but I was. All right, here we go. Last week, fakie frontside Smith. I hope that's going well for you guys. Um, today, in spirit, we're going to keep going with frontside tricks, and that's right. We're going to unlock the door to frontside axle stalls, all right? So, at what we're going to need to know first is how to do a frontside kick turn, all right? We've already covered that stuff. If you have it, if you don't know how to do a frontside kick turn, then you need to go back and check out Skateboard Basics frontside kick turns, all right? So that's the first thing. The next thing what I like to do when I start talking about frontside axle stalls is practice on a bank real quick. So here at third layer, we have a bank next to the mini ramp that we've been working on. And just so you guys know, this is a two foot, eight inch mini ramp, all right? And it's an eight foot radius. So if you wanna make something like that at your own house, those are the specs you need to know, all right? Two foot eight, eight foot radius. Pretty mellow, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start up here on the deck. A couple things to start breaking down the fears and making sure that you guys are comfortable and ready for this stuff. You can always start at the end of the trick and work your way back to the beginning, all right? So let's talk about foot placement first and foremost, all right? I'm gonna be doing this trick in a slightly modified drop-in position. Now. To review drop-in foot placement, you don't want it over the bolts in a riding stance. Bring your foot back so you can see all four bolts, hardware bolts on your front truck, all right? So that's where your front foot's gonna be. And to modify it slightly, I'm gonna bring my toes over the board so I can pull front side on my way in, okay? Very important. If your foot is back here, toes may be equal or on the edge of the rail or possibly like onto the deck more. What's gonna happen when you turn front side is that your foot is gonna shift this way. And it's gonna be hard to ride away with your foot half off the board. So we counter it, all right? When we go front side, we counter where our foot is to, so when we actually go up, snap an ollie or up into an axle stall, our foot actually lands exactly where we want it to, to, to be, all right? So that's the first step. Modified drop-in foot placement, all right? So here we go. My back foot, as we know, as a quick review, front side is done on the heel, all right? And mainly your front side, your front side kick turns and your front side axle stalls, when you come out of it, it's gonna be on your back heel, okay? When you see pictures of people doing full speed front side, front side 50-50s and even backside, they're, they're pressing forward with their front leg and their back leg, their weight's on their back leg, all right? This is gonna hold true with what we're gonna do right now. So here we go. We're up on the top of the deck. We're gonna start with a couple warm-ups. Bring our arm in, start the rotation. Get a good turn into that ramp. From there, go to the edge of your bank. Do the same thing. Set your feet up, get low, breathe out. All right, I'm trying to run through this quick so this video doesn't become 12 minutes long. I want to keep it nice and short and sweet for you guys. All right, so practice that. Do it 100 times if you have to. You have to get that. You don't have to go all the way 90, all right? You can go 70 degrees and lean on your heels and straighten back out. But you can't go like 35 degrees, all right? It's just not gonna work. You're gonna hang up, you're gonna hit your tailbone, it's gonna suck. You're gonna be icing your butt cheeks for like two weeks after that. Don't do that, just get comfortable. Even if you think it's taking a long time, spend the time getting a good, strong foundation. I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna pay off in the long run. All right, I've mastered it on the bank. Let's bring it to the quarter pipe. Just like when we were talking about backside, the 50-50s, start with the end of the trick, all right? So here we go. Couple things you gotta know. When you go up the ramp, after you're dropping, and I suggest that the, you drop in and you go for it right away. First wall, we call it. You're gonna go up, you're gonna ride up through the coping, you're gonna lift up, start your front side turn, and you're gonna to want to lock in your heel side wheel and then press it down, all right? You might land in a front side feeble, just lift up, adjust, get your front trucks over. Now your front trucks, it doesn't matter if you're over here like this or, or wheels locked in. Personally, you're gonna to wanna to try to 
press those heel side wheels against that coping every time. It's gonna give you a really great grind. And if you're a little off center like that, things just get a little dicey, all right? But you can still pull it up, just so you know. Okay, so right here, that back wheel, that's where the groove is, that's where I've been working. All right, that's where you want to lock it. So you're going to come up, you're going to wait till the very last second, turn, smash it down, transfer your weight to your front foot, set up your feet if they got a little sloppy, get that toe over the, the edge of the rail, get onto the back foot, look, point, breathe out, and you're going to press on the back heel and ride away. To stall a front side axle stall, you have to shift your weight to your toes when they're on the deck. Lean back on the heel when you want to go in. So it's a toe, stall, heel, re-entry, okay? So here we go. Let's talk about this look, because this is crucial. A lot of kids are going to want to look over their shoulder like this. Well, that doesn't hold true in the art of ram now, does it? Because we like to stay low, we want to get down, and we want to look down under our armpit, almost at the ground between our two heels, all right? That's where I'm spotting my landing. That's where I'm pointing, right at the bottom of the flat bottom, right where the transition meets the flat. That's where I'm going, all right? So here we go, bailout pattern on this, all right? I got up into it. I'm, I'm juggling, all right? Nothing. I got to bail out. What I'm going to do at this point, don't be next to the edge of the ring. All right, because a front side bailout is a little different. You kind of step forward and into the ramp, all right? So you always, always get off with your back foot first. Whether you're not even moving, you're getting off your board, back foot always comes off first. So when you're up on a front side grind, you, you step your back foot up, around, over, into the knee slide, all right? Very important. Shoot your board out of the way so you don't land on it. And that's just gonna take time, all right? You got this. It's a feeling, remember, see the feeling with your feet, all right? I don't have my skate shoes on tonight, so this could be kind of fun. These are my old work shoes. But I love them, TNTs. All right, so I'm down low. Get used to this, just, you know what? It's gonna come down to it, screw it. I'm gonna do it. Three, two, one. back and go. One more time. Board set up. Front foot on first. Back foot on. Adjust. Get low. Spot your landing. Look where you want to go. And like dropping in. You got to commit to the trust fall. I'm trusting myself that I know what I'm going to do and this is going to work out. Lean back on my back foot. On my heel. Turn. Go. like anything, skateboarding's weight shift, all right? So when we're up into the stall, we go, we're, we're leaning back into the ramp, we get our back truck on, we press our weight down on our front foot, we want to go back in, we lean back to our back leg, and then we lean on our back heel, turn, look, point, go, exhale, all that good stuff. Let's put it all together, here we go. That was exhausting, by the way. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start with a, a back 50 axle stall on my spine. Just to, so I don't have to go all the way across the ramp. We're gonna start over there. But I'm just gonna get low. I'm gonna do it, actually first, I'm gonna do an active bailout, and then I'm gonna just pick up the board and keep rolling through the thing. Stay low. I can't emphasize it enough. Here we go. Bailout. All right. Small ramp, harder to bail out for a big man, but you know what? Deal with it, right? Here we go. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I want to land a front side 50, and it's going down right now. This is my first one I've ever done. That's you at your skate park tomorrow. Here we go. Modified foot placement. This will work for a backside axle stall too. Don't worry about it. Try to get on that back leg, turn, going. Get low, grab Indy. Looking, I'm pointing. Trusting myself, going back into 
into the ring. If you watched the video last week, Fakie, Fakie Frontside Smith, start trying Fakie Frontside Axle Stall. Same foot placement. If you get up in there, that helps too. Could have landed that, but that was just quick thinking bail up, all right? I don't know, if you guys got any other questions about that, you know what to do. Send them through YouTube. Comment below, really appreciate it. There's people watching this all over the world. Couldn't be more stoked if one person benefits from this stuff. I'm a little out of breath, because that was first take. I don't know about you, Franco, but are you ready for, to end the night out here, or what? Yeah, Franco's a man. Subscribe below, tell your friends about this channel, and we'll see you tomorrow.